Well, Lizzy Fedden is a freelance journalist joining us now live from the Syrian capital Damascus to share her thoughts with us on the news uh, taking place about the Arab League conference, of course. Uh, Lizzy, some of the major points of the report by the head of the Arab League monitors in Syria, they didn't face any problems, they say, from the Syrian government. Violence has subsided, they say, despite claims by the armed opposition. And the fact that the opposition are armed, uh, that there were exaggerations over the way the monitors conducted their mission. So overall, how do you see the report? Well, uh, of course, there, there are, uh, from the Syrian government's point of view, some positive uh, things that have come out of the report. But overall, they're not very happy with the report because, of course, they have recommended that uh, the president uh, hand over power to the deputy. And the Syrian government has called this a blatant uh, violation of their sovereignty. Of course, there is a political process happening in here in Syria. Just a couple of weeks ago, the president announced uh, reforms, including a new constitution that would be put to a referendum uh, in a very short space of time. And while the Arab League has said that um, violence has subsided since they have been, the observers have been in the country, uh, it's difficult to know what they are comparing it to because before they arrived, uh, the only reports about uh, uh, supposed government violence on uh, supposed peaceful protesters was coming from unverifiable sources. And actually, the majority of them were coming from an organization called the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, which is based in London. And it's a very dubious organization. Uh, nobody really knows who they are. There is some evidence that they are linked to Western uh, intelligence services. But on the other hand, the Arab League has acknowledged that there is uh, they have acknowledged the, the government's insistence that there is violence coming from armed insurgents inside uh, of the country. And of course, just a few days ago, Arab League officials themselves extraordinarily uh, uh, said that the attack in Homs that famously killed the, the France 2 reporter Gilles Jacquier uh, and eight other Syrian civilians uh, was uh, conducted by um, so-called free Syrian uh, army fighters. Um, so that was an ex extraordinary admission. It w there was also an admission uh, of that by the French. Um, but really what the Arab League isn't acknowledging, on the one hand, they're acknowledging that there's armed insurgents inside the country, but they're not acknowledging then that as a result, the Syrian government is in a very difficult position. Because if they're acknowledging that in places like Khams and other places, there are armed insurgents inside the country, then uh, what we know is that these insurgents are embedded amongst the civilian population. And this is very difficult for the Syrian uh, military and government to respond to uh, in a decisive way without causing a loss to civilian life. So on the one hand, they're calling for uh, no, no action by the Syrian army. But on the other hand, they're acknowledging that there is a real threat to the civilian population and uh, army and police by armed insurgents. So really, one must ask uh, what their recommendations mm -hmm. are that the Syrian state should do uh, in the face in the face of that problem and then of course the, the other thing that came out of this report is that the the Arab League uh, observers uh, said that they've been under a lot of pressure by the international media and really there is very much a feeling here that there has been a huge media war conducted against uh, Syria and that actually if uh, the media especially channels like uh, Al Jazeera and others wouldn't have been involved in this crisis then actually it would have been uh, over a long time ago so there is actually an, a, an admission there that they have been under a lot of pressure to to say actually not the truth about what is happening in Syria but what international uh, international uh, media organizations right. like Al Jazeera which of course is funded by the state of Qatar that famously has called for troops uh, to, to intervene in Syria. But really now the Arab League must be very careful that uh, while that they, they stick to the, the peace plan uh, that was accepted by the Syrian government when they entered the country and that they don't, um, that they don't go into the dangerous waters of uh, violating the sovereignty of, of Syria uh, and respond to, to pressure by, uh, by some uh, forces to hand over in, more influence to the United Nations Security Council, which was, as we know from the Libya example, is a slippery slope to, right. to military intervention and war against Syria, which, can never, which of course can never be a good thing for the Syrian people. Now, Lizzie, if you could just briefly also tell us, uh, before we run out of time, Saudi Arabia, we know, have, has now, with, uh, it says it's going to withdraw from the Arab League mission in Syria, claiming that the monitors have failed. Now, does this withdrawal mean that the Saudis were unsuccessful in getting what they wanted? And what could that be? 
Sorry, I didn't hear the last bit of your question. Yeah, Lizzie, I'll just uh, repeat that again. With Saudi Arabia saying that it's going to withdraw from the Arab League monitoring mission, what does this imply? Does it mean that the Saudis believe they've been unsuccessful in getting what they wanted from this observer mission? Yeah, absolutely. Well, from the beginning, it's been clear that all, this, all that the Saudis want is a Libya-style military intervention in Syria. So far, they have been unsuccessful because of the Russian and the Chinese veto uh, at the United Nations Security Council a few months ago. So now, all what they're doing, the Arab League isn't quite saying, uh, the observers aren't quite saying what they want them to say. They're being a little bit more objective that, than we ex uh, expected. So actually, what they're doing is they're throwing their toys out of the, the, the pram. They're trying to take away any legitimacy of any kind of uh, objective uh, analysis of, about what is uh, happening inside Syria. Uh, and if they don't get military intervention, they don't want to be part of. They don't want to be part of any peaceful process inside Syria. That, and their actions today make that absolutely clear. Lizzie Felden, freelance journalist, joining us there live from Damascus with her thoughts. Lizzie, thank you.